What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beard Scholar, back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, that being said, guys, I'm going to jump straight off on this topic today. Today, in this video, I want to talk about my two favorite beard oils. I was going to make a video about my top five favorite, or my top ten favorite, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to jump straight off into it. I'm going to give you my top two favorites, okay? So, this was... About a year ago, this would have been a very tough decision, all right? But as of today, this has been one of the easiest decisions for me. Now, being that these are my top two doesn't mean that there's no other beard oils I like. This just means that these are my top two favorite. And if shit went down right now, this would be the only two beard oils I would ever wear again if I had to. So, jump straight off into this one right now. The first one is going to be the Luxurious Bastard 1912. All right, so those of you that don't know, this scent right here is very hard to explain. It's um, It's got like a hint of like cedar, uh, tobacco, maybe some smoke in there, but it's very mainly, like I said, it's just one of my top favorites. One of my top two favorites at that. When you smell this, it's sweet, it's, um, it's smoky, it's, it's very light, it's a light smoke though. It's ain't like you're getting smoked out by a campfire. It's just a light smoke, it's smooth. Um, the tobacco in it's very smooth. The, uh, the cedar, everything that blends together is just very, very smooth and complex. So that has by far been one of my top favorites. But this oil, if you guys know, most of you guys do already know, it's very hard to get. So this isn't oil that you can just keep grabbing. It's only made in a small batch. It's hard to get your hands on. If you try to get it right now at this moment, you probably wouldn't get it. But luckily, I have a couple sitting on the shelf already. Now, the other one out of my top two favorites is gonna be this one. This is Royal Black by Husky. This one here is pipe tobacco, vanilla, or sorry. Yeah, pipe tobacco, vanilla, and amber. This scent right here is just as smooth as the Luxuri Luxurious Bastard 1912, right? So these two scents right here are very complex and very, very smooth. And on top of that, they're very manly scents. So if I can't use this one, I'm gonna run to this one. So both of these scents is pretty much, I've kind of narrowed it down here lately to where I use either the 1912 or I use the Royal Black. Almost every day, especially at nighttime, I wear one of these at night. And earlier in the day when I first wake up, I might use something else just so I don't run out of these. But these are by far my absolute top two favorite beard oils, guys. If you guys have never used either one of these beard oils, I highly recommend you using one of these, at least trying it. Try one of them, try the other one. The Luxurious Bastard, I personally don't have a discount code for if you guys are looking for it. You may be able to go check out Dan C's videos. He may have one. Matt with No BS Beard Reviews might have one. I personally don't have one. Uh, but that's the oil that if you've never tried, you must get it and try it at least once, man. I don't know. I really don't know very many people that don't like this beard oil. And on the other hand, the Royal Black, I do have a discount code for it. It'll be dropped down below. Both of these are by far the most manliest, smoothest, toughest scents I've ever smelt out of all the other beard oils I've had. If you guys know of a different one drop your comments down below i like uh anything with tobacco pipe tobacco anything like that drop it down below if you guys know anything that's close to this and if you guys are a beard company uh and you think you got something that compares to this change my mind with it send me a message dm me on instagram whatever it may be change my mind with it let me see uh but as of this moment i don't know anything that's this complex and this smooth out of all the beard oils i got and i got a lot of them so with that being said guys see you guys in the next one